Hey guys, Miss Ashby again. So we are going to look at Simple Solutions Lesson 8. We're going to read about Native Americans today. Um, so let's just go ahead and hop into it. Make sure that you have a pencil or a pen and a highlighter for vocab. All right. So the first thing that we always do is read over the questions first. So pause me for just a second while you skim over the questions. That way our reading is way more focused and we can find our answers a little bit faster, okay? All right, now that you have read over the questions, let's go ahead and get our highlighters out because I see some bold vocab words that we're gonna need to highlight. So you may follow along with me. All right. The Native Americans, also known as American Indians, had established their own rich cultures more than 10,000 years before Europeans arrived in the Americas. So let's highlight Native Americans are also known as American Indians, okay? As the Native Americans spread out across the land, they moved into new environments. An environment is the physical area in which plants, animals, and humans live, another vocab word, Let's highlight it. Some environments were suitable for growing crops, so the Native Americans developed agriculture. Okay, I'm gonna put growing crops, agriculture. They created tools and, and growing methods to become better farmers. Other areas such as deserts or mountains were not suitable for growing crops. Tribes in these areas hunted animals or gathered edible parts of the plants for their food. Unlike farmers, hunters and gatherers had to travel to make sure they had enough food. Okay, so let's highlight that sentence. They created tools and hunting methods to become better hunters. Because hunter-gatherer tribes traveled more often, they needed portable houses that they could pack up and take with them. However, Native Americans who grew crops could live in houses that were more permanent. The Native Americans depended upon the environment for their survival. They made tools, built homes, and developed their cultures based on what they had around them. Wherever the Native Americans settled, they found ways to adapt or change in order to be more successful. The ability to adapt or change has shaped human history. So I have a bold word here, adapt. And in between these commas, it tells me that adapt means to change. So if we look at number one, they literally ask us to adapt means to change. It says it right above. Okay. You can tell from the context clues. I'm going to put a box around context clues because, again, that's a fourth grade skill that I bet you guys learned with Miss Anderson. You can tell from the context clues that a word for growing crops and raising animals is what? So I feel like I've seen something about growing crops up here at the top. First paragraph, I know that agriculture is the word that we're looking for because we already highlighted it. Agriculture. All right, number three, another main idea question. What is the main idea of this passage? So what was this passage mainly about? So take a second to read over your options. Okay, and what you should choose is C, how the Native Americans adapted to their environment. Yeah, we talked about how the Native Americans were here thousands of years before the Europeans that's a supporting detail. That's not what this uh, passage was mainly about. Yeah, we talked about environment a little bit, but that's not what the passage was mainly about. The passage was mainly about how the Native Americans adapted to their environments, okay? All right, number four. Blank is how far above sea level an area is, all right? We talked about this word when we were talking about um, physical maps. It shows how high something is and that is the elevation, okay? So let's circle elevation and write it in the blank.
All right, number five, blank describes the weather conditions of an area over a long period of time. This is from lesson seven. And the word that you should choose here is climate. All right, six through nine, they want us to use this map to help us answer the question. So they want to know four boundaries of Alaska. Alaska is right here, okay? So we're looking for a C that is um, around Alaska. The only C that I see here is the Bering Sea. So let's write that in. Okay. Next, we're looking for two oceans. If you look closely, you have the Arctic Ocean here and the Pacific Ocean here. Let's write those in. Okay, and last we're looking for a country um, close to Alaska. I see two countries here. You can choose which one you would like. You could choose Canada or you could choose Russia. Okay, it does not matter. All right, and number 10. The Native Americans crossed into the Americas on a land bridge that once connected the continents of Asia and North America. The land bridge is now underwater. Look at the map. What body of water now covers the land bridge that once connected Russia and Alaska? I know that this land bridge um, was covered by the Bering Sea. Right. So for number 10, you should have Bering C. All right, guys, and that is your simple solutions for the week.